all of a sudden the game is on again. It's open. It's still, I'm still there. I'm still alive. In 2008, I was number one in the world for a couple of years. And so it was a complete different expectation that I had from myself. So I knew I uh, had the capabilities and, and, and the tennis game to, to beat everybody on the tour. Um, and I had a big rivalry with Corey Holman. She's also a former Dutch player. And then we trained together and uh, we spent a lot of time together. But I believe that I won the first set quite easy, maybe six. 6-2 or something like that. And then the second set I was up with 4-2 or 4-1. And then all of a sudden she was changing her game. She was being more aggressive. I think I became a little bit more nervous because I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I'm only eight points away from winning a gold medal. So I was thinking to myself that it might be, you know, possible to win three golds in a row. Maybe I started to lose a little bit of my focus. I don't know what exactly happened, but Corey came back and, and she fought back and she won the second set. And all of a sudden it became a final gold medal match of, uh, in, in three sets. Um, she was playing well. I wasn't playing that well, I guess. And she was uh, having match point at one time. She was serving. She served on my backhand and I kind of like not even a really pretty hit, but I just kind of got it back in a slice or something. A soft uh, slice ball, that kind of thing. And then she she just couldn't get it back. She hit a ball in the net. And so match point gone. All of a sudden the game is on again. It's open. It's still I'm still there. I'm still alive. We fought back. I started to believe in myself again and we made it to a, um, a tiebreaker. Corey maybe got more nervous than I was. And after the two match points, I think I, I finished it and won the gold medal.